a stolen Ford F-150, a great performance work in spikes, and typical Nissan Altima activity. Enjoy the show. The video begins with Trooper Kennedy going to the assistance of other police officers to intercept a stolen Ford F-150, as at that moment, the chase was led by the only policeman on a motorcycle, who, of course, could not do anything with the stolen pickup truck. The driver of the pickup tried to realize his clearance advantage to cross the ditch, but as the video shows, even motorcyclists did it without problems. Another attempt to break off the chase by using a ditch, but again, the suspect was too predictable. Given the heavy weight of the Dodge Charger and the pickup's empty body, it was able to be pushed off the road without any problems. The suspect was apprehended and taken to jail. On June 11th, 2024, at approximately 8.10 a.m., I, Trooper Chris Dunham, was notified by Troop C Dispatch of a vehicle pursuit involving a stolen vehicle at the 17-mile marker southbound in Missouri in excess of 100 miles per hour, and Missouri State Highway Patrol was requesting assistance. The vehicle was described as a gray 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Dispatch also relayed that spike strips were deployed in Missouri, disabling one of the vehicle's tires. I responded to the 67 mile marker and set up spike strips utilizing the concrete barrier of the overpass as hard cover. About the 66 southbound. 10 back with the 66 southbound. I'm not pulling over, I'm gonna get TVI. I moved to the vehicle's left side and performed a successful TVI on the fleeing vehicle, causing the suspect to spin to the left into the cable barrier roadside and became disabled. The vehicle was later confirmed to be stolen out of Champaign, Illinois. McDaniel was transported to the Mississippi County Sheriff's Office and charged with felony fleeing, theft by receiving, reckless driving, driving on suspended. On March 28, 2023, 
at approximately 4.40 a.m., I was patrolling the area of Fair Park Boulevard near Interstate 630 when I observed a black Nissan Maxima bearing Arkansas plates sitting at a red light waiting to merge onto I-630 West. The license plate showed the registration to expire in April 2022. While traveling westbound on Interstate 630 at John Burrow, I initiated a traffic stop on a suspect. Upon initiating the traffic stop of the Nissan, he exited I-630 West on John Burrow and began fleeing northbound. While fleeing on the city streets, he was driving very aggressively and at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour in an attempt to evade. At the intersection of 12th Street and Fair Park, the suspect tossed a black and blue bag from the vehicle that was later recovered by LRPD. facing away from me. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking back. Shortly after the bag was tossed from the vehicle, I was able to perform a TVI on the car bringing the fleeing vehicle to a stop. All occupants in the vehicle were taken into custody without further incident. Upon talking with the driver, she stated that she wanted to pull over. However, the passenger had a gun threatening to shoot her if she stopped. Inside the recovered bag was a Ruger 25 caliber pistol and a homemade plastic bottle used for inhaling narcotics. Thanks for your time and have a great day.